Medical personnel of Reddit, what was the most uneducated statement a patient has said to you? The ex's mum recommended I stop taking my antibiotics because antibiotics are bad for you. They kill your antibodies. People who think I am taking their vital signs at 4am to make more money. No, you just had open heart surgery 12 hours ago. It's kind of a serious thing. A year ago before my grandmother died, when a nurse would come in to take her vitals my grandmother would put up such a fight because she thought the nurse was actually stealing vital signs from her as if they were a tangible object. A mother requested a maternity test for her child. Not a paternity test, but a maternity test. She was convinced that her husband put another woman's semen in her when she was sleeping. You read that correctly. I just remembered a second story. This girl came to the pharmacy to return her birth control. I asked her why. She said she got pregnant. I asked if she took it every day. She said, number. On the days I didn't feel like taking it, I made my BF take it. I couldn't believe the stupidity. I made them answer a bunch of questions until they realized how stupid they were. My friend has just graduated as a doctor and did a placement in Cape Town, down in South Africa. Apparently things get a little crazy on Friday nights and one night they had a guy come in, presumably in an ambulance, with an axe lodged in his head. The patient didn't survive. A few hours later another guy came in and asked if he could get his axe back. They said certainly sir, wait right here and called the police. Walked into the local detox one night for a seizure and find a male flopping himself around on the floor while some disinterested nurses watch. I give the universal greeting of M's. Watcher got before the nurses can answer the patient looks up at me from the floor and says hey, man, down here, I'm having a seizure. Then he goes back to flopping. Time to start an IV. Pick a number between 13 and 15. Drawing blood. I had an older woman say wait, you're going to put it back, right, number, I'm not, and she freaked out, she didn't know the body will replace it. Once had a patient who was prescribed an inhaler for his cat allergy, he came back a week later saying he was none the better, turns out he was spraying the inhaler on his cat. When I worked in the Canadian Rockies we had an instant where a mother sprayed her kids with bear spray as they thought it was a repellent like bug spray. It was 99% cayenne pepper with a 9 foot range. After looking at the patient's chart and seeing she had diabetes. Me. Do you have any medical conditions? Patient. No. Me. Are you sure? You've never been told you have any diseases? Patient. Never. Me. What medications do you take? Patient. Insulin. For my diabetes. But diabetes is a superpower. I want an STD test. Cause I had sex with two people without washing my dong in between. Okay do you know if either of them had an STI? Or do you? No they don't. But that's how you get them in it. I'm sorry. You get STDs by not washing your dong in between woman. Number. No they have to already have. You should always wear a. That's just bad hygiene. Uncle is a dentist. Said he had this 20 some year old come in with a bombed out motor that needed to be pulled. He explains that she is going to lose her tooth and is expecting some sort of negative reaction, which is customary. Her response? That's okay. I'll just wait for the other one to grow in. What other one? Like when I got these. It was because I lost the old ones. Those were baby teeth. These are adult teeth. You only get one set. So nothing will grow in the hole? Shudders. I cracked a motor once and had it pulled. My wisdom tooth took its place. Wasn't expecting it though. 20 something year old patient comes to a chief complaint on the board is private. This should be good. Go in. He is visibly depressed and sad. Tells a story about how he slept with a woman. Didn't use protection. And after he noticed she had a plastic box on her. When she told him it was an insulin pump for diabetes he was mortified. Came in immediately to be tested for diabetes. I had asthma when I was a child. So stop freaking patronizing me and telling me how to raise my daughter just because you think you're smarter than me. Leaves hospital. Back in hospital two hours later. Six year old daughter in respiratory failure and admitted to IQ. Eggs. I ain't no chicken. 
My house cleaner's teenage daughter was helping out one day and as I said hello she mentioned that she was pregnant. Again. This will be child number 3 so I comment that at least we know her eggs are healthy. Then I receive the chicken egg comment. I give her the short version of human reproduction and am rebuffed. I promise her that she in fact is full of eggs and hers are in top form. A week later she is back and informs me that a nurse confirmed everything I had said. I gave her insulin because her sugar was low. Also dumping ice water on overdosed drug addicts. That just makes the paramedics wet. As someone with a mom who has type 1 diabetes, I find that terrifying. On a similar note, a lady once tried to give my mother splendor when her sugar was low. An old man from a remote valley thought that he had got Parkinson's disease because he had been masturbating frequently when he was younger. That's what the church told the young boys to keep them from doing it. Poor guy. I am not a medical person, but I once thought I was having a heart attack at work and drove myself to the air. I was placed in a bed with a curtain after skipping Tridge and getting Iggy KG'd right in the hallway. Of the 5 other roommates separated by curtains was a 53 year old man that was there for burning sensation in his penis. I know this because multiple people came to talk to him about his condition and he had no volume modulation. What everyone kept asking him was did you put something? Chemical in your penis his response to each one was yeah. I might have, it took 5 nurses and a doctor before he finally fessed up to what it was. Bleach. He said he dribbled bleach into the tip of his penis to keep from getting an STD. The nurse was silent for a few solid moments before asking why and if he did this every time he was sexually active. He said he wanted it clean, and that he wasn't sexually active at the moment. He wasn't sexually active. He had done it after masturbating and was under the impression his own semen could have infected his dong with something he didn't want. She then had to lecture him that if he wasn't sexually active with another person, he likely wouldn't contract an STD, and that soap and water are a good way to clean his genitalia in the future. I was frozen in my bed making that face from Edvard Munch's The Scream and my, now ex, wife mirroring it back to me. The man was moved elsewhere, perhaps to rebuild his urethral lining and we were still too shocked to discuss it until leaving the hospital 4 hours later. For future reference, if you think you're having a heart attack, please get a ride to the hospital. I had a patient who drove themselves while actually having a heart attack, and they crashed their car into a tree, so they had a car accident and a heart attack. <laughs> Nurse here. I once had a 20 year old female patient who didn't know that having sex would lead to pregnancy. She had no idea. How? At my animal hospital, I've had many people over the years bring in their cat because they found tumors, not knowing that male cats have nipples. I'm never going to have a baby because the hospitals don't wash them anymore. She's 30. Comma good choice. My non-diabetic patient with a blood glucose of 1250. I'm hungry. Can I eat well sir? Your blood sugar is really high so let us get it under control first. Can I at least have a drink I can get you some water. No something else without sugar, like juice. You're kidding me right? In chart. Allergies. Shark bites. It makes me break out in bleeding. A middle aged lady in Fieta once told us at the last minute, as she was being wheeled in, that she's allergic to latex. Everyone freaks out because so much of the stuff we use in Fieta has latex in it. So we take her to the latex free theater and do her surgery there. When she's in recovery and awake I inquire as to what reaction she has to latex. I just don't really like the sound the latex gloves make. Dear. I just turned around and walked out. I actually have had two disease in the last few months. I was rotating in the air seeing a 20 year old female patient who came in for a few days of terrible vomiting. First step was to get a urine pregnancy test, which came back positive. I went in and gave her the result and she got this very panicked look on her face that quickly turned to confusion. She looked at me with the most serious face and says I just don't know how this happened. I have only let him finish in my mouth a few times, but I have never, ever swallowed it. That would just be stupid the next half hour was spent discussing the fact that she had been having unprotected sex for about 3 years because neither her nor her partner understood how pregnancy occurred. Best part was they apparently usually always used condoms, for oral sex, but not vaginal sex. Much education was given on that day, 
Second, I was seeing a patient in a preoperative clinic and reviewing her history and allergies. She claims, and firmly sticks to it, that she is deathly allergic to all salt water, bad, red, painful rash all over her body while at the beach. She was also claiming to be allergic to snow, where she apparently her face got all red and hot after being out in the snow. She was dead serious and had no psychiatry problems. Good news, she got saline and didn't die. I had a patient try to feed her newborn baby a french dip sandwich a few years ago. Work labor and delivery for a few days and you'll wish there was a license required to breed. This isn't the most uneducated but it's pretty classic. I work in pediatric critical care. At my first job we had this kid that was immediately post-op from a small surgery. Doing great. Was probably going to sleep it off and transfer to a general floor the next day. The mom wanted to snow him with drugs and kept on insisting he had pain which he denied and had no vital signs or actions to suggest he was hiding. He was getting scheduled oral opiates and Tylenol but this lady was insisting on something IV. When she didn't get anywhere because the kid kept denying pain. She asked for something so he would sleep through the night and the nurse said, we can try some Benadryl. And the lady snapped. She demanded a doctor, berated the nurse, and essentially said we were mistreating her child, who was moving omg, I'm fine dying the whole time as he played xbox. The doctor on service was this awesome, brilliant man who was tired of dealing with this lady drug seeking for her kid. He put on a smile, asked what the concern was, listened to her complain about how the nurse had offered the kid Benadryl cocked his head and said, well, what about diphenhydramine? Have you ever tried that? It's a very effective sleep aid. For anyone that doesn't know, Benadryl is the brand name for diphenhydramine. They're the same thing. Immediately the lady perked up and said, diphenhydramine? Yes, yes, let's try that. Meanwhile, the bedside nurse is struggling to keep from laughing, says, I'll go get that, and runs to the pixies drug dispenser in the locked room, where she loses it. Kid got his diphenhydromine. This reminds me of the time I was mad at my brother, I must have been 12-ish, and told him I put deoxyribonucleic acid on his doorknob. My dad was furious. I explained it to them later. Now I'm a science teacher and trying to educate my students so they have some science literacy as adults. My dad worked in a Philadelphia hospital during his residency. He says that one time he was asking a woman about her medical history, and she told him that she was once diagnosed with fireballs of the Eucharist. It took him a minute to figure out that she meant fibroids of the uterus. Fireballs of the Eucharist sounds like a really cool Christian FPS. I'm a nurse who has worked in the burnt trauma IQ and I am now a hospital supervisor during the night shift. The stuff that people come into the hospital with is mind blowing. Either their medical problem or their social problem. Or both. My most recent and favorite experience was a patient who called the hospital condition concern line wanting to know why we were not teaching her how to tit feed the operator who passed the call to me thought it was a prank at first. I go to the mother baby floor to meet with these people and talk to their nurse. I come to find out that the mother has tested positive for heroin in her urine, it also tested positive in her newborn, and she also has a current history of marijuana use and a past history of substance abuse. Her last three children have been taken by CPS and tomorrow, which is 5 hours from now, they decided to make this complaint at 3am. Her new kid will get taken away. I go to talk to this woman to explain why we can teach her to breastfeed due to the drugs in her milk. The stuff that comes from this creature's toothless mouth is unbelievable. Her first statement is your job is to teach my kid how to suck my tit and I don't know why the hospital is doing this to me. I don't smoke that much weed. I'm cutting back. She ignores the heroin here and thinks it's the weed. And, I always feel good on drugs. I talk with her in circles for a little while. It finally ends with her saying frick it, I'm having a smoke. She got up and left and that morning CPS came to take her kid away. The kid was in the nursery the entire time. I'm told she barely even looked at it since birth. Thank god that CPS took that child immediately. My old doctor said I could keep this pair of contacts for a year. This girl comes in with the same contacts she got as trials over a year before and she had never taken them out. Not to mention these weren't night and day contacts. These were B-weekly AccuVu lenses. She did not leave very happy that day. I once left a pair of those things in for like 3 days. And it was awful. Those things must have been welded to her eyeballs at that point. 
Don't eat or drink anything after midnight before his 3 year old daughter's surgery the next morning, tonsils and adenoids. While intubating his daughter the next morning, she vomited scrambled eggs, causing her to aspirate them into her lungs. Her heart stopped, and I did chest compressions on her for 25 minutes. We got her back, aborted the surgery, and transferred her to pediatric IQ on a ventilator. Her father's response, she said she was hungry. I thought you were being too hard on her. It must have been something you did to her. If you're working with kids just ask them what they had for breakfast. Chances are that they forget that they aren't supposed to tell you. You've been visited by the banana guardian. He will protect you and all of your bananas, but only if you comment protect us mighty doggo if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video, or don't, either way, have a great day you magnificent people.